Dear God, when will this nightmare end already? Seriously, if you thought the last THX trailers Rohan, Tristan, and everyone else encountered were bad enough, well, there is one I've encountered. I was at Burger King having lunch and spending time with my friends. Things were going very well as usual. When I got home, I noticed a DVD on a couch which I am obsessed with. It was definitely a miraculous Ladybug DVD. In case anyone knows, Miraculous Ladybug was my favorite TV show that I watched for a long time. Since I was 15 years old. It's not gonna stop for now. But I always had a soft spot on it. However, by looking at the DVD cover, I was confused at what I was looking at. The, the cover considered the six characters on the front. Marinette, Adrian, Alia, Nino, Kagami, and Felix. All very nervous, while text can be seen next, next to the THX logo in the background, while the captain says, Miraculous Ladybug, THX. This really got me confused. Why is Tex here in the Miraculous Ladybug DVD? Tex was from THX and animated by Pixar, not Disney and Zag Toon. Considering this was because the TV show started in 2015 after THX was a thing in 1996. However, I shrugged it off because I thought it was looking interesting. I realized that it was going to be another THX trailer that Adam Kennington made. I let go of my stress and decided to watch it. I inserted the disc into the DVD player. I skipped the previews because it took a long time. The DVD menu popped up, but no sound came out. It was just the title. The menu options were play, visit THX, bonus features, and deleted scenes. I pressed play so I can watch the trailer. Before the trailer started, there was a warning. This trailer you are about to see is as scary as you would expect. Zagtoon TV series, despite not being THX certified, please watch it at your own risk. Uh-oh, I said under my breath, I don't know what to expect. Then the trailer started with Tex standing in the dark background as seen from two lost THX trailers, Monster House and the Brave Little Toaster. Looks like the team man is going to make people's lives a nightmare, Tex said. Then he flew off screen. Then it showed the THX logo as seen in the Mukan trailer. Just then, the six characters, Marinette, Adrian, Alia, Nino, Kagami, and Felix walked into the shot. A rumors about this logo being scary? Nino asked. If it is, we're doomed. It's known that it's the sound that rises up with a loud sound, Alia said. Marinette tried to reassure the other two to remain calm. Guys, calm down. I'm pretty sure this is the only a statue we're investigating. I'm pretty sure th that those speculations might be false. So? Creepy people like Adam Kennington may have made those up just to scare the living heck out of us. I honestly doubt a logo can scare anyone, but what's the worst that could happen? She said. Yeah, I agree with Marinette, but you guys should know that we're only investigating the hideout. But we won't get killed, Kagami said. I agree with Kagami and Marinette. But I'm lucky enough to trick any villains if they get into our way, Felix said. Just then, they hear a jetpack coming towards them. What was that? Nino asked. It's not my father, isn't it? Adrian asked, already getting scared. Just then, Tex dropped down in front of Adrian, startling him and his friends. Hello, superheroes. Or should I say, unlucky sparks said Tex. Marinette screamed as she saw the evil robot right in front of her. A robot! Get away from us! 
You evil red robot had done such awful things to those people by murdering and killing them, all because they were afraid of the certain loco. That is no excuse to kill somebody, she said angrily. Kagami joined in the conversation while she protects Marinette in her arms. You heard my, what my friend said? Killing people over a pretty reason is not right if they were af ever afraid of you and your company. Just accept the fact that they don't like you and just ignore them. We will report you to the authorities and have you executed. If you are going to keep this up, even though we're just teenagers and superheroes, she said angrily. Tex then chuckled at them. Well then, if people are still disrespecting me and my logo, then you will know what happens and what I'll do to you six, he said. As he pressed the button on the remote control, the THX logo came to life, getting closer to Marinette and her friends. Run! Kagami yelled as she holds Marinette by her hand. Everyone else followed her to the safe place. Tex shrugged off the plan onto killing innocent people, but he deactivated the THX logo by pressing the off button. Ah, forget it. One death will be worse for you six, as he said as he walked away. Phew, that was close, Marinette said. Everything's gonna be alright, as long as Felix and I'm here to protect you four, Kagami said. I agree with Kagami, but the tricks worked so well. But Tex will not find us. But he doesn't know that I'm a magician, Felix said. Kagami felt touched by Felix's word and kissed him on the cheek. Olya took a photo of Kagami kissing Felix, but there was no flash at all since she already turned it off. Tex didn't find Marinette and her friends since he canceled his plan. The screen fades to black, but not long after, it showed the shot of the THX logo. I grabbed my wireless headphones and put it on just in time. The deep note from the 2007 Halloween trailer started playing. Unlike the other deep notes throughout the THX trailers from past to present, this trailer's deep note was a mixture of various people screaming, and stock sounds, and real screams. But it was so loud. Thank gosh, I have my wireless headphones to protect the loud noises and protect my ears. The deep note ended for real. And then text dropped down like in the Mukhan trailer. Hello, Zactoon fans. It's me, Tex. I have decided not to kill Marinette Dupanchain and her friends. For now, I have killed Adrian's father, Gabriel Agrest. Someone had asked me to do a favor. I paused the DVD and questioned myself. Is he talking about me? And I said that? I was really confused. But I continued the DVD by pressing play. You know what? You shouldn't have seen this trailer. If you never laid eyes on me, nor thought of me, then you wouldn't have had nightmares about me. Good night, Tex said before he flew off into the darkness. Before the trailer ended, it showed the famous THX slogan as it fades in. The best sound, the best picture, you're watching a THX certified TV series. I was getting the chills from the text message and it fades away. The blast screen stayed on for 10 seconds. I thought it was over. However, every 10 seconds, one more horrifying picture came up as I braced myself for a jump scare to show up. And of course, there was. It was an edited shot of Marina DePanchin screaming when she saw Nino on TV. Only she was crying blood from her eyes. They were black with red iris and black pupils. That image scared the living heck out of me. And since I have my wireless headphones on for the whole time, I could hear the loud version of Five Nights at Freddy's scream playing in the background. 
the jump scare ended, and an apology message came up. We are very sorry we scared you. Lots of people are afraid of text when they were young. You see, many people get afraid of a certain fictional character, and they would have nightmares. Again, Brackers, we're very sorry. The DVD ended for real, and it took me back to the menu. I got out of the video camera and start recording the whole DVD without being bothered. After the DVD ended, I stopped recording. I took out the disc and put it back into the case. I decided not to destroy the DVD, but I kept it inside my drawers just to hide it somewhere, so that way I won't get nightmares. About the trailer, I uploaded the trailer to my YouTube channel. For everyone to see it. A moment later, I got comments from everyone, but I read the comments from Rohan first, which it said, "Oh goodness, that was so horrifying." But I hope you'll get over the creepy pastas and lost THX trailers soon, sister. I also read Tristan's comment as he feels sorry for me, as it said. Oh man, that DVD is really scary. I'm so sorry that you went through like Rohan, everyone, and I did. I replied to them saying thank you, and they respected me of what I saw. Here's a lesson to everyone who might encounter this trailer: stay away from it and don't watch it, as you would accept Adam Kennington's responsible who made this trailer. Just stick with the original Miraculous Ladybug TV series instead, but it will give, always give you a soft spot around you. And I hope you will learn your lesson once the nightmare is over. Adam Kennington deserves to get arrested and executed as his punishment for his crimes.